Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Progressive Dynamics Pure Sine Wave Inverter. This is going to be a 2000 watt inverter that will change your DC power coming from your 12 volt battery system to provide AC power for your electronics and appliances inside your RV. This does utilize the Pure Sine Wave technology to replicate the sort of uh, AC power that you typically find in your household. So it's going to be a nice clean power with low distortion. So it's going to be perfect for your sensitive electronics like your HD TVs and computers. This does have a uh, output of 120 volts of alternating current, which is pretty standard uh, for most of your RVs and motorhomes out there. Very similar to your home uh, AC power. It's going to accept that 12 volt DC input from your battery systems. It does have uh, 2,000 watts rated running power and a starting or surge power output of 4,000 watts. It also has an integrated 20 amp transfer switch that's automatically going to change uh, from inverter to shore power when you get hooked up at your campground or other uh, site. This will help to protect your electrical systems from any dangerous back feed by not having two power sources uh, working simultaneously. Uh, this does have several other safety devices included. So you can see on the back side here, we have these fans that are going to help prevent the unit from overheating. Uh, these are thermally controlled uh, so that the hotter the unit gets, the faster that those fans will operate to make sure that it's never going to overheat to help keep it at the right temperature. It's also got uh, several other uh, features to help prevent any sort of uh, electrical system um, malfunction. So it's going to protect against reverse polarity, over voltage, under voltage, and overloading. Uh, it will also have an auto restart function. So if the power is interrupted, it will automatically restart for you. You can see on the back side here, we do have these connection points to allow us to get this hardwired in. So we've got our DC on this side with our positive and negative, and then our AC in and out. We can just simply punch those um, pieces through, get that connected, hardwired into our system. Now our inverter should be mounted in a dry, well-ventilated space that is separate from your LP gas or battery compartment. Uh, to give you an idea of how much space you're going to need to mount this in place, it is 15 and a quarter of an inch long by 8 inches wide and 4 inches deep. Now when you're mounting this, uh, you probably are going to mount it somewhere uh, more isolated in a lower compartment storage area or something like that. So they do also provide this wired remote that's going to allow you to control and monitor the inverter from a convenient location inside your RV. They've got a 50-foot cable that will connect one side on the back of the remote, and then the other side will connect right here at the front of the inverter. Very simple to do. Uh, this is going to allow you to monitor your input voltage, output voltage, and see any error codes that might pop up. This remote is four inches wide by two and three quarters of an inch tall, so it should be very easy to find a place to mount this so that you can monitor and control your inverter. This is a, a UL listed product, so you can trust it's gonna hold up well, be very durable for you as you're going down the road, hitting bumps and that sort of thing in your RV, this will hold up well to it. It is made here in the USA, so you can trust it's made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. And I think this is gonna be a really nice option for you. It's gonna provide a lot of wattage uh, for you to run those uh, electronic devices in your RV and that pure sine wave technology is really huge to make sure that you're getting that nice, clean, safe signal uh, so that you're not gonna have to worry about any issues with your sensitive uh, devices. So that's gonna complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.